Hello, welcome back. This is an onion. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. No, my videos are just a little bit more interesting than that. Just a little bit though. I wasn't lying, this is an onion. But it is not the reason I'm making a video today. The reason I'm making a video today is pasta. You know, I just love pasta so much and I feel like that's a pretty common thing to love. A lot of people love pasta and I would feel like it's pretty safe to say that most people have like a favorite pasta. I can already see the pasta counters in the comments right now. How many times am I gonna say the word pasta? Take a shot of pasta every time I say pasta. I haven't cooked a whole lot of Italian food here on the channel and I wanted to show some love to pasta because I love pasta and I've been eating it like my whole life. I've always loved it. I could even make some plain noodles with butter and salt and I'll enjoy that. I mean, I am not gonna complain if pasta is in front of me. Also, please don't make fun of me, but when I was a very young child, I actually put ketchup on my pasta. But I wanted to make a video that wasn't the most fancy recipe in the world. It wasn't the most ambitious. I would say this video takes its place somewhere between mug recipes and like Hot Pocket. I wanted to make some lazy pasta recipes, kind of recipes that I cook for myself on at least a semi-regular basis because I'm lazy and I enjoy cooking food most times when it's not a lot of work. So I have two recipes today and both of them are so good and they're lazy. These are my lazy pasta recipes that you can make. It doesn't take a lot of time, doesn't take a lot of effort, and it also doesn't take a lot of ingredients, all right? You know, for this, I'm gonna make two dishes total, like I said, of which I have gathered here in front of me. So uh, some of the ingredients are obviously different types of pasta. We're gonna be using spaghetti and some shell pasta. Also have some crushed tomatoes in a can. Most of you will probably have that in your pantry. We have some garlic, a bunch of red chili flakes, butter, Parmesan cheese, wine, olive oil, maybe an onion if you're feeling crazy. I don't know how you're feeling today about onions, but feel free to cook with an onion. And last but not least, we're gonna be using Beyond Meat Beyond Sausage, which is uh, their Italian, hot Italian sausage. It's just so damn good. We cook with it all the time. And I'm actually gonna use that sausage for both recipes today. Although you can omit that part of this if you'd like. If you're not a fan of sausage or this type or whatever, cook it without a protein and it'll still be just so delicious. Oh, also you're gonna need lemon. I just have a thing of lemon juice, but you're gonna need lemon for one of them. And I'm excited, okay? So grab your pasta forks. Sorry, that's all I got. Uh, just get ready to enjoy some delicious, easy, lazy pasta, all right? Let's do it to them. Okay, so we have two types of pasta to cook. So I'm gonna get it started back here so we can focus on the sauce right in front of us. All right, so back here, you will see a pot of boiling water. It's not very exciting. You can choose to watch that, but don't. So that is the first step, obviously boil water so we can get our pasta cooked. Okay, wow. The water is boiling back there. Uh, getting going with our pasta, we're gonna bring our cooktop to the center and start our sauce, which you'll be able to notice at this point. We have a new gas cooktop. It's no electricity. I did this because many of you were hearing a high frequency that made you want to carve your brain out with an ice pick when I stood near the electric cooktop. My mic was like interacting with the frequency of the actual power. I don't even know, I'm not a scientist, okay? Well, I am, you guys know I am. All right, we heard you. Regardless, uh, we have a gas cooktop now, which I'll be using for the videos, and also I'll be using on the cooking live streams, which we do on Fridays on Twitch. Anyway, we gotta get our gas canister and plug it in. There we go. So we pop our pan on the cooktop. This is actually new for me. I'm still kind of learning it, but it's, uh, it seems pretty simple. The first pasta we'll be making is an arrabbiata pasta. Now this is a pasta that I actually learned about sort of later in my life. I didn't eat it a lot growing up. I did eat like marinara growing up and this is similar. Uh, this just has more spice to it. And I think the way I've eaten it is it uh, sometimes is a little thinner and there's a little more oil in it. Both of those things I like, just like a nice light sauce, but oil is always good, okay? So for this, you're gonna need uh, our butter and our oil to start. How are you doing back here? Good? 
Nice. All right, to start off here, we are going to add, oh my God, it melted. Okay, so our cooktop is now dirty, beautiful. Vegan butter be like, a melted surprise. Oh God, what a mess, dude. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, take two with our cooktop here. Our water is boiling, so we shall add some spaghetti and get this cooked, so BRB. Okay, uh, this is already becoming very chaotic and everything's fine. I've spilled butter all over the cooktop and I had to panic cook some pasta behind me. Still currently cooking. Everything's great. Also, I finished the uh, spaghetti and cooled it and then put it in this mason jar. And I don't know why, but it makes me feel very uncomfortable. That shouldn't be in there, I don't know. Here you go, you want a drink? Let's get started on the sauce. What do you say, huh? What do you say? All right, forgive me, I'm still learning this cooktop. None of the instructions were in English, it's fine. I'm fine. We're gonna take two of uh, a nice tablespoon. Actually, I think we're gonna half this recipe. So I'm making this recipe for one person. This, uh, the one that I use, the one I'm on Pinterest, it's, uh, it's for like two or three people, but since I'm only doing single size servings, I'm gonna cut the quantities in half. So it's a tablespoon each of olive oil and butter. Oh, and while this is cooking, I'm gonna move it, very dangerous, and I'm gonna chop some garlic as well. We are multitasking, I'm gonna take this big thick boy, clove of garlic, and give it a nice slicing, then cut through the middle, and give it a nice dicing. It doesn't have to be completely like mashed up, but you want it to be pretty fine. All right, so this is our arrabbiata, and arrabbiata has to be spicy. It doesn't have to be crazy spicy, but we need some heat. So we're putting the garlic in, and right after the garlic, swing this bad boy back over, lower the heat a little bit, Right after the garlic, we are gonna add from our collection of chili flakes. This is gonna kind of be up to how spicy you want it. I like mine pretty spicy. You can always add heat, you can't take away heat. So, gonna let this kind of soften up with the garlic a little bit. All right, the second half of our pasta is done. I'm gonna go strain it and set it aside. And ice water bowl it goes. Okay, so I just realized something. I already fucked up. I don't have whole peeled tomatoes in a can. I have crushed tomatoes. Ideally, arrabbiata calls for whole peeled tomatoes. So that's a bummer, but it's okay. It's not gonna destroy the recipe. I just thought I had, this actually, this can looks like the whole peeled tomatoes can, but it's not. So everything's fine though. So in just a minute, we are gonna add our tomatoes and we are gonna let it simmer on this stove for 30 minutes, okay? Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. That's just kind of the general area of time we're aiming to cook the tomatoes for. The tomatoes need to be cooked through, so you gotta make sure they spend enough time on heat, but also you don't wanna overcook them. So that's gonna be the next step. That's gonna be the most time consuming step of this recipe. And then in 30 minutes, we're gonna have a rabiata, almost. So, see you then.
All right, well, our arrabbiata, our arrabbiata sauce, which isn't authentic because it doesn't have whole tomatoes crushed up manually, it has crushed tomatoes, whatever. This is the lazy pasta episode, okay? Not everything is gonna be exact. Also, this is my channel, so if you're here for <laughs> accurate cooking and uh, good technique, you're in the wrong place, but I'll still, you can stay. Just lower the expectations. One thing I did while this cooked down was I added some pasta water and a little bit more oil. We are now salting it. And I also prepared our Beyond sausage. So I cooked those up, chopped them up, cooked them up, and now they are behind me, ready to go into our rabiata sauce. So let's put half of the sausage in here. This is looking nice. Again, you don't need the protein for this. You can do it without. I'm dangerously protein deficient because I'm vegan, so I have to, to add it in this one. One more thing, I had this, you know, at the beginning of the video, and I was like, hey, we're gonna cook with this. There's no onion in this recipe. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I'm like this. This is it. This is our rabiata. Actually, maybe we taste it before we add the pasta. Mmm. Whoo! That's got some heat in it, which is what I like. When I first tried it, I was like, this is some spicy marinara sauce. And then I learned it was a different sauce. And, and I just, I don't know, something about red chili pepper flakes all over my pasta sauce is just, it's exactly what I need at all times. But yeah, make sure you, when you're cooking the pasta, you reserve some pasta water in case this gets too thick. You can thin it out, you know, have your pasta prepared ahead of time. But uh, we're just gonna cook this down for another minute and then it's go time with the pasta and then we're moving on to the next one. This is definitely more work intensive. And by work intensive, you literally just leave it on the stove to simmer for 30 minutes. You can go do other stuff while you're doing that. The next recipe is a lot easier, so it's only gonna get easier from here. Only downhill from here. Wait, uphill, it's only uphill. It's only, me it's only medium hill from here. Which is better, down or up? Whatever, I don't know. Here we go, it's time. We're adding the pasta. And we're gonna stir it around in here. Oh my God, this is all you need. This is all you need in life. Oh, there was one rogue spaghetti piece in here. Is just a nice heaping serving of some spicy pasta that you made yourself. Look at that. Come on, baby. Tell me that's not delicious. Let's get a bowl. Here's our lazy vegan pasta number one. This is our arrabbiata with some Beyond Sausage, so. Let's try it out. See how it, see how it went. It's so good. It's it just tastes like a warm, hearty bowl of pasta with a bunch of heat on it. That's it. It's very simple. Not much to it. It's good pasta. If you like spice and you like pasta, make this. Yep. Yep. This is it. All right. Now we gotta move on. We got a whole nother pasta to cook. Let's clean our pan and start it up again. All right, moving on to pasta number two. Twice as lazy, just as delicious. We're gonna start with a little bit of olive oil and let this heat up just a little bit. For this recipe, you're gonna need some white wine. I actually prefer using rosé, but a white wine tastes great with this too. I've done it both ways and there's really no losing there. All right, so we're just kind of getting the olive oil nice and heated, not too hot, about on medium heat and we're gonna Take our minced garlic, that goes in first. We gotta make sure we don't overcook this, all right? Cause this, the garlic can be finicky. It might brown a little bit, but we don't want it to burn. Also keep keep the olive oil handy cause you might need to like, you know, toss a little, a little bit of reinforcement olive oil as we cook. You're also gonna wanna take a generous bit of red pepper flakes. Uh, again, cause this one is spicy too. It's not as spicy, but it does have a little kick to it. This is gonna be, Lemony, it's gonna be garlicky, and it's gonna have a little bit of heat. Honestly, the perfect combination. All the good stuff in one dish. All right, the pepper flakes are also something you have to keep an eye on because you don't want them to be uh, burning. Actually lower the heat just a little bit. Now we're gonna take some white wine and reduce this, so. Add a generous bit of wine, the exact amount is in the recipe, but I don't really care for exact amounts here. Then you're gonna take a lemon and add the juice of about one 
half of a large lemon or one full small lemon. And make sure that even though you use this technique, you still get one seed in there. You have to slowly fish out, everything's fine. All right, we're gonna let this reduce, cook down for just a few minutes. While this is reducing, we're actually gonna take the other half of our lemon. Where did I put it? Do you have it? Where did it go? Oh, do you wanna know where it is? It's underneath the lemon cloth. Uh, and we're gonna zest uh, the outside of this lemon right here. Don't wanna zest the sticker though. Uh, and this is gonna be added to the dish later. The zest is really important actually. I forgot about this part. But this, uh, this gets added at the end and it really acts as a nice flavoring for the whole dish that has a little bit more texture and dimension than just lemon juice because you're actually eating little bits of the rind and it really adds a, a wonderful flavor to this dish. Wonderful, just absolutely amazing. So this will be added later. I've increased the heat just a little bit so that this can cook down. The alcohol will be cooked off and then we move on to the next step. All right, we're gonna add a pinch of salt and get our trusty pepper shaker grinder and get a little bit of black pepper in here just for flavor. We already have enough heat from the red pepper, but that is just to add some flavor. And you're gonna take a tablespoon of butter as well as just a tablespoon of pasta water and mix this into our sauce. And it's gonna start to get like ever so creamy. It's not supposed to be a cream sauce, it's a very light sauce. But as you cook this, it starts to develop just a little bit of a different texture. It's like a mix between watery and creamy. It's just perfect, honestly. So it still needs to cook down a little bit. Still a little watery. It's looking nice though. All right, we're basically there. This is a really easy one. Um, as you can tell, the texture has thickened up just a little bit. It's still not very thick, but the alcohol is cooked off. So this is, um, the texture we want for our sauce. Heat is off, and now we add our pasta, our zest, and our Parmesan cheese. There we go. The zest, and we are gonna grate some Violife Parm right on top. This one doesn't require any like mozzarella or anything either, so go as crazy as you'd, as you'd like to with the uh, Parm. This specific type of parm that I'm using likes to puff its chest out in terms of looking like it's a lot, but it's really gonna shrink down pretty fast. So that's why there's a mountain of it. And now we're gonna stir it around. Actually, I should use tongs. Time to mix this up and serve it. It is done. Our lemon garlic pasta. Lazy day pasta is finished. This is uh, one of my favorite pastas I've ever eaten and I love making it. So let's take a little bite. Do you want a bite? You want a bite? Do you? You can have one. There you go. It's just so good every time. It's easy. I mean, you're not even technically making a sauce. It's just like a coating for the pasta. It's like a little coat so the pasta doesn't get too cold. And this one's coated in heat. Still delicious. Mm-hmm. These are both winners, man. They're lazy, pretty easy, and they don't require a lot of ingredients. Although, I, if I were to choose, this is the winner. This is definitely the winner of the Pasta Wars. Hey Alexa, how do you say, you know I had to do it to him in Italian? You know I had to do it to him in Italian is, sai che dovevo farlo lui. <laughs> Thanks for watching my lazy pasta video. Hope you guys try this um, at home. Won't disappoint, I promise. Send me pictures of what you cook. Sai che dovevo farlo a lui. <laughs>